Hi, this is Luke with The Gamer, and I'm going to show you the Sonic event quests in Monster Hunter Rise. Monster Hunter is no stranger to crossovers. While so far Rise has mostly done crossovers with other Capcom games such as Mega Man and Ghosts and Goblins, more recently they crossed over with everyone's favourite speedy hedgehog, Sonic. So if you take a look at these Sonic quests, you can get yourself some cool Sonic themed layered armour for your companions and the hunter. So let's take a look. So the first quest is called Gotta Horde Fast. It's a two star quest that can be started in the events quest list from the Gathering Hub. This one involves running around the shrine ruins trying to collect 200 rings as fast as possible. The quest itself isn't too hard and even though I never really figured out a specific route for doing it, I was able to get an S rank on it pretty easily every time I did it by myself. However, it is a Gathering Hub quest so that means you can invite other players to help you get them even faster. Completing this quest will reward you with buddy rings which can be used to craft special Sonic themed layered armour. For the Palico armour you'll only actually need to craft one part of it to get the whole thing. So you'll only need two first scraps and four buddy rings to craft it. For the canine you can get tails themed at clothing but it is crafted separately. But it's the same deal. You'll need two first scraps and four buddy rings. So that brings it all to a total of four first scraps and eight buddy rings you'll need to craft all this armour. The second quest is a bit further away though. You'll need to reach Hunter rank 8 before you can attempt this one. Then you can attempt the Super Shady Lookalike event quest. Once again, it's started in the Gathering Hub so you can play this one in co-op and it sees you hunt a Naga Cougar in the Flooded Forest. Unlike the previous one, there's nothing too fancy about this. It is just hunting a Naga Cougar while Sonic music plays in the background. But completing it will allow you to craft the Sonic Wear layered armor. However, you might need to grind this one a little more. On my first attempt I only got one hunter ring, so I think you'll probably need to play this quest at least 3-4 to four times to get enough hunter rings, and then you'll need a lot of high ranked Naga Cougar materials as well. But if you put in the time you can get yourself some pretty sweet Sonic looking sportswear that looks completely out of place in Monster Hunter, but who am I to judge? So there's an overview of the Sonic the Hedgehog themed event quests in Monster Hunter Rise. I hope this video has helped you out and check out thegamer.com for more.